Welcome back to another video, guys. Oh, crap. I didn't realize that. Um, today, as you already know by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how to preserve a turtle shell. The other day, I was walking through the creek looking for arrowheads, and I found this turtle shell. It's still got some color on it. Some of it has already fallen off, as you can tell. But I have some of those flakes. I think I'm missing only one. But... Otherwise, it should be a good turtle shell. Eh, there's three. Yeah, I'm missing the one on the actual turtle shell, I believe. Well, the. But um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this, just in case you guys want to collect turtle shells. And maybe at the end, I'll show you my turtle shell collection. I think I have 13, I believe. So I'll show you that whenever we get to the end. And let's hop right into it. Okay, so what I usually do is I usually oh, oh, come on. I usually actually start off taking these flakes off it's very easy it's almost like a puzzle piece they just come right off and hopefully you can boom like that came right off and you can clean these off and the actual turtle shell off without having to damage it or any of that so I'm gonna take all these off and uh, hop right into the video. The good thing about this turtle shell is it is fully complete. It's not like a turtle shell that's missing the bottom. It's got this belly piece, I guess you could say. And it's got the top piece that opens and shuts, which is this right here. But let's go ahead and take all of them out. And I'll get back you with you whenever I'm done. Okay, so I've gotten all of the color off of it those little flakes so now it's just a regular looking I don't know if you can see that turtle shell here's what it should look like whenever it all comes together here's what it should look like on the bottom when it comes all together when it gets all together it should look something like that Ooh, glad that didn't break and then um, now the next step you have to do is just clean the turtle shell off and the color flakes and uh, I guess I'll get back with you whenever I finish that too. Okay, so I'm back in my house and I have cleaned the turtle shell off and I have it in my floor right now, letting all of the little bits and parts dry. But uh, once, you, once you get that done, then all you have to do from there is just glue those on there. And if you want to make it shine even better, you can get clear spray paint and spray on there. But I'll show you the finished product when I'm done. And then if you do end up finding a turtle shell that says it only has half of those and you don't really want to worry about those, you just take them off. All I do is you just clean it really good. And if you want, you can leave these separate. I usually just glue it the way they should be on the turtle. And then you, once it's fully dry, you can just spray paint it and it'll still be nice and good looking. But get back with you whenever it's finished. I might even do time lapse of me gluing it, who knows. Okay, so it's finally done. Um, it didn't turn out as good as I was hoping because for some reason this time, uh, in for unfortunately, the dirt that was on it kind of stained the color. So it still looks very dirty. But here's the final product. Keep going, keep going. And as you can tell right here, there was a piece missing right here. Two pieces actually. That just had fallen off and I couldn't find them so I just painted or I just colored that in black with a sharpie but as you can tell the bottom it's still gluing that's why there's tape on here that's just so it doesn't fall off but I think it turned out pretty good all I have to do now is just put the clear spray paint on it and I'll be done 
But uh, now, let's go show you my turtle collection. Okay, so I told you guys I'd show you my turtle collection, so here it is. Here we go. So, I'll tell you the story behind these. This one, we we're fishing and at my grandpa's pond, and he actually found that one. This one, I was running a mud run. It was a 5K mud run. The owner actually let me keep it, so that was awesome. This one, my school teacher gave to me. Then, from here on out, all of those I have found at our place. I like this one right here. I kind of overloaded it with the glue, so it's not really my favorite one. But this one is my favorite one. This one's perfect. It's dusty. All of them are really dusty. So let's see if I can... There's what it would actually look like. That shiny. But it's got all the parts underneath. It's very pretty. I didn't overload this guy with glue at all. Very, very nice. And now... I get to add this guy to my collection. I'll just set him right over here since I'm running out of space. And there we go. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's not bad. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful. If you guys are wanting to, you know, preserve turtle shells, also, I like to collect them. I think it's a neat thing. But, uh, anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.